Hi, my name is Mark, and today we're going to be looking at creating a mobile site. Our new mobile site builder feature allows you to build your very own mobile sites for your mobile marketing campaigns, uh, for your sending, capturing, user data, and stats. Now, firstly, click on the mobile tab at the top, and that'll give you access to the mobile section of your account. Next, click on mobile sites and create site. You'll be redirected into the online mobile site builder editor which looks like this. Firstly, expand create new because we're creating a new site and giving it a name. Let's call it Joe Blogs. And click on the add button. This is your mobile site manager page manager and page elements manager. We're first going to be covering the mobile site manager. Um, if you'd like to open an existing site, expand the little open downward button and uh, on the drop down you'll find a list of all your created sites. You can also save as um, under mobile site properties. Um, you've got your site name, your default language, you can choose from the drop down there, your background color, this is the default background color for your mobile site. Um, to change the background color, simply click on the little color picker and choose your color for example, let's cho choose blue over here. At the top you've got your save and delete, so let's save that quickly. And you've got your text displays, um, the option of the deep for the default font color and size text inputs once again false color and size and the general alignment um, next is your page manager click on page manager first of all we've got create new page expand that uh, call it page one for example click on the plus sign and we've just created a page now in your mobile site Remember we chose background blue as the default, but we can always change it uh, on the page manager itself for each particular page. Go to save as option. Now under page, um, these are all your properties. You've got your page name. If you want to make this the home page, place a tick there. Uh, you've got your background color for the page. As I said, we can customize it once again. Choose, click, on the, click on the color picker and choose your color. Uh, text displays. This is once again the default uh, for the page. Default text inputs, default alignment. You've got your form submit email addresses. Say for example we've set up a form that captures data. When the person submits that data, the email addresses you insert here will receive that submission in, in an email format. Um, then you've got the option of setting the back page for this particular page you're working on. Um, you can choose any of the other pages that you've already created and also once again the next page so you can sort out the order for your mobile pages. Then we've got your page elements manager. At the top um, this is the to show info these icons at the top here. We've got your text display, list, image, hyperlink and table. Say for example we want to insert text, I'd click on the text display. Now you've got your heading, so for example uh, news flash. Yeah, and then you'll see it appear on the right. Um, paragraph, and you can basically type whatever you want in there. Um, once again, background color, alignment, font for that particular text display, color and size. That's simple enough. And if you'd like to delete any particular element, simply click on the delete element little dustbin icon on the right. Then we've got a list. Let's just click on that element quickly. I'll show you what it does. So if you'd like to make a list, um, 
in search of texture, so for example fishing, and click on the add button to add, surfing, click on the add button, um, mountain biking, once again click on the add button and you'll see them listed over here and in bullet form on the right hand side there. Next element is insert image. Click on insert image. You can personalize even further. Give your image a name. This is for personal use. Um, image 1. If you want to give your image a heading, you're welcome to do so. And then firstly we need to upload your image. So click on upload. Browse for your file. Let's see, go to pictures now it'll load your file to the library um, if you're uploading from the library click on library and choose file from image library Let's see, and you'll get that this little window popping up that was the Jeffreys Bay JPEG and then click OK and you'll see it inserted in a moment. And there we go. Next is the hyperlink. If you'd like to insert a hyperlink on your page with text, um, let's just collapse that particular element quickly. Click on hyperlink, insert your text, and then I want to hyperlink it to a particular page or web address. It's completely up to you. Let's collapse that. Next we're going to take a look at inserting a table. Just a quick look at that. Click on the element and it will appear at the bottom. So if you want to insert text into a table, if you want to actually view your layout and table, click on outline page elements you'll see everything in its little tables anyway. The next set of tools are to collect data. We've got four little elements there. Um, the first one is text input. Let me just collapse this quickly. For example, text input. If you're wanting to submit a form, for example. See, text input creates a little box. If you'd like to insert data. Um, the caption would obviously be if you're asking a question, for example, first name. You'll see at the bottom there, first name. And I also have the option to insert text. So your recipient will be able to do just that. Um, you've got your maximum, minimum length, password, background color, alignment, and all your fonts, etc. Click on the date element. If you'd like your recipients to insert a date, for example, I can have my caption as uh, date of birth. Uh, alignment left, I can make that center. Next is numeric input. If you're a recipient to insert numerical values for the submit. For example, years surfing, posing as a question. And we can make that look a bit better if we put it in the center. And somebody can put the air in there. And lastly, we've got selection input. Now with selection input, we can have a drop-down menu, we can have radio boxes or a checkbox. It's entirely up to you. Um, so we're going to create fields now for your recipient to choose from. For example, here is surfing, question mark. So your options from the drop-down, you'd insert under caption. For example, one year, click on the add button to add, less than six months, 
add, let's give another one over five years. Obviously you can, you've got all the justification, font and color options. You'll see a drop down there and you can choose. To move the elements around on the page, simply drag the element to a new position. Once you're done with building your mobile site, click on the save icon. I like to save every every two minutes just to be safe. And then to exit the mobile editor, click on this little green close editor icon. And to manage mobile sites, let's just configure the site quickly. For example, Joe Blogs, and we call the site name Joe Blogs. That will be the address clicky.com forward slash Joe Blogs. Now you've got two options to create a permanent mobile site. We've got a free offering and a premium offering. Now, free offering is where you're able to publish the URL, for example, your site's name dot clicky dot com or clicky forward slash your site's name. Now should you wish to use your own URL you need to register this domain and then have your internet service provider change the CNAME record of the domain to point to my your site name dot click you dot com. And that's a basic overview of our mobile site editor. Thank you very much for watching.